In the Metal Squadron, taking a look at the December Gold contract, which did finish higher, now up three of the last five sessions and three of the last five weeks. Gold crossed 1800 that $1,800 level for only the second time since September 15th. The downside today was a bit of a gap up. 1783.40 was the low yesterday settlement, 1781.90. Then on the high, I said it was above 1800, 1815.50 was that high. That was up just short of a half of 1%. We did end up giving up a little bit of those gains though, finishing right around 1794. So only not up that much, really about a quarter of 1%. Some of that might have had to do with the Jerome Powell comments on the panel he spoke about, spoke at this morning. Chair Jerome Powell said it's time to taper. He actually said those words. He said elevated U.S. inflation readings are likely to last into next year and the central bank is alert to the risk that consumers may start to expect higher inflation. He said it was time to taper. That's talking about the $120 billion in monthly asset purchases, roughly, give or take, that the Fed participates in every month. And that pulled gold back a little bit, assuming that less easy money means less growth means less inflation. It's at least prior to a weekend, potentially a time for people to take profits on any gold trades since we are up three of the last five days. Now, seasonality, I've talked about seasonality in gold before. It's safe to assume we've entered that period of seasonality that acts as a tailwind for gold. Seasonality is not a trading strategy, but over some over large sets of data, let me just put it that way, gold has tended to rally historically, typically from the end of October through to about the end of November, then move a little bit sideways, then rally again going into the holiday season. We're in that time of year now. There's no real dispute. One more week basically left in October. So we are there. So gold may have a little bit of a tailwind and could potentially continue higher, especially given the data we've had lately.